Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, real quick, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, NetShare on a Mac. So, first, we're going to go ahead and click Airport, and we're going to go to Create Network. After we've created a network, I call mine iPhone Tether. You can call it whatever you want, though. Click OK. All right, now you're going to go head back up into your airport. You'll see that cool icon up there. You're going to go ahead and go into network preferences. Within network preferences, you'll see your network window here. Um, there's my airport on the left hand side. I've got an airport express set up right now. Under locations, I'm going to go ahead and edit locations and add one. This is simply to make life easier next time you guys go to Tether so you don't have to create a whole new one. After you've named it what you want, go ahead and click Done. If you look over on the left hand side, you click on that airport. And there's our network, iPhone Tether. We're going to go down to Advanced. Alright, now that we're in the Advanced drop-down pane, we're going to go ahead and click on TCP and in our configure IPv4 we're going to click using DHCP with a manual address and in that address we're going to go ahead and enter 192.168.10.2 that's the one that NullRover suggests and it works fine now under proxies we're going to go ahead and click on the SOX proxy option and enter in our proxy server which is 192.168.10.1 this window is where you'd put that 1080 but I found that I don't need to put in 1080 as support so it works just fine go ahead and click OK and do not forget to apply those settings There you have it. You have everything completed as far as you can go on the Mac. Now you've just got to hit everything up on your iPhone, which is incredibly easy, and I've included instructions um, on the right-hand side of your screen. Good luck, guys. Thanks.